if the opportunity came, I'm like, yeah, I'm taking a chunk out of it. I, I want a piece of that blade. This is the last chance I'm going to get at designing a, a Hypershock for a toy, so it had to be perfect. They knew that they couldn't really go weapon to weapon, so they went weapon to side of weapon. We hit the jackpot in Vegas. <laughs>
um, uh, something else I'm very excited for with the jerseys and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you look at the lineups and it's like, okay, there's they're in four groups of four per weight class and there's not like an easy group that exists. And like some of the matchups that we're going to see are literally like championship quality, like final 10 p.m. like matches that we're going to see at like 9 a.m. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and like to think about it on that level is just so insane to see like how much everybody has grown and like when I tell you people are working for this event like the amount of prep work and machining and adjustments that people are making is on another level like these people are coming to play like they know they need to show up and they are not taking any shortcuts yeah yeah, I, I'm just, I'm thrilled. Um, I can't wait to see it. And and I mean, with that being said, um, I just kind of want to start diving into the groups and the different weight classes to talk about what we think may happen. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> looking at uh, the, the three pounds first, um, the first group is Chainsaw Kitty, Sombra 3, Subtraction, and trick or beater. Um, yeah. I, I'm curious to hear what everybody else thinks about that. I mean, you know, given given that I have seen the evolution of Chainsaw Kitty during the time that I have competed, I think that's a pretty difficult robot to beat, um, no matter how you square it. Um, but but I'm curious to hear what everybody else thinks about that particular group. I think the most interesting part of that group is like Chainsaw Kitty has never truly fought any of these bots before. It's the obvious favorite in that group. Uh, but oh, it's never I... fought that. It's never fought Sombra. So Sombra, sorry. Sombra 3. It's never fought them before. Right. Uh, it's never fought Subtraction before. And Subtraction is really like Seth's... Seth, I, I don't know if it's like his main bot, but like especially if you watch like his most recent video about it it's all metal it's beautiful i don't know <laughs> like... i was i was gonna say don't don't count out seth don't count yeah. out the brazilians like i yeah. i mean she's got some stiff competition here because mm -hmm. and chainsaw kitty of course is my favorite going into this just because of, of um I, I, and like we say on my podcast or my our podcast all the time um I don't mean to misgender if I, if I do, <laughs> but uh, Kazaya has worked so hard with this bot and just grinded it out and gotten so much better and better and better every single time that we've seen it. And you just can't count Chainsaw Kitty out. And it's even again, something her like summer. birthday on Friday. So <laughs> it'll be her birthday weekend. I'm so excited to be able to share that with her, That's by the way. Awesome. <laughs> and, and we know how birthdays work when it comes to competition, too. So <laughs> you go big or you go home. Okay? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you get that. You get that birthday boost. I feel like Seth is going to pull a Seth on this one, possibly. Uh, so I make her battle this past one. Uh, Sonic just out of nowhere started destroying. The first time he brought it, it just didn't do too much. It was kind of a meme. I feel like a lot of his bots, he just makes them as just a robot, has fun with it. It doesn't do too well. And then it just, one event, it flips and kills everything. So <laughs> that might just happen at teams. I I think there's a good chance of it because he's run it two times already, I believe. Yeah. I, I mean, he's one of the mad geniuses of NHRL. We have to give it to give that to him. And he's just always innovating. Just look at the products that he sells. Just look at like the, the, the new um, uh, hub motor and just, he's just always gets better. He always comes with something better. So that group is just going to be amazing. My favorite thing about his robots is how every time he comes out with a new one and he puts the cat online, he's always like, Hey, just don't make this robot. It's really dumb. Like he said that about <laughs> division. He said that about Sonic when he posted the cat. It's like, this isn't a good robot. It's just fun. <laughs> And then he ends up doing well with them anyway. Yeah. You also can't count out the Brazilians. They're always Ever. right there. It's oh, like God, you can so never good. count them out. So it's like I'm looking this this one is, is gonna be I, I think it's all out. Yeah. I don't know if anybody's gonna be the true favorite of this event. It is this the first time we've seen EGBS 
so far this year? I don't remember. I don't think I. I don't think we've seen them. Yet I believe this year. it's the first. Uh, yeah, the I first one for them. The first yeah. Time yeah. For this year. First. Yeah, I'm pretty confident this is the first one. They're they're pretty hard to miss when they're when they're in the oh. pits. <laughs> they're pretty hard to miss when you're bringing them down to the cage, though. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. It's going to be an interesting group for sure. Um, so going on to group B in the three pounds, we have Lynx, Project Liftoff, Pine Victus, and Positively Hysterical, which I have to say, listing the weapon as charisma, that is true, like <laughs> Tom Farkas form right there. Um, beautiful. So uh, we I, all know who's the gonna whole be the whole utter grumple monkey team has fantastic descriptions for their weapons. So <laughs> make sure you point out the other ones as we get to them because when the time you get to Mr. Roper, it's just awesome. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh -huh. um, Positively Hysterical is also going to be a new Positively Hysterical for this event. Um, obviously, with the weight change rules and everything, Tom is redoing the entire CAD. Um, it's still paused to yeah. part, but I'm not going to say more because I know that Tom wants to keep it a secret. But it is it is a different pause. So I'm excited to see how it does. And I mean, Tom is just amazing. So like, I really just hope it doesn't have to fight Lynx first. I, I, I was going to say that. It's like, Tom, Tom is like, here's Positively a Circle. It's brand new. Oh, and then intro goes, and here's, here's Lynx. Lynx. And Project Lynx off. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's better than fighting Dutch Oven first. <laughs> yes, yeah. in that group. But in that group, we have, I think the heaviest hitters are, of course, Lynx and Project Lift off. They, right now, they fought each other several times. And right now, the winning record for links, I have it right here, is uh This is why Ryan's a stack guy. Uh <laughs> there is uh Links has three wins over Project Liftoff. Yeah. But Project Liftoff is like one of the people that has really been able to challenge Links before. So that's not even that's like a that's not set in stone. That could be either way right now. Uh but I think Lynx wins this bracket. Personally, personally, I see Lynx. I, you can't count out Project Liftoff that that Melty because Lynx really relies on that speed and control that Calvin has, and Lynx kind of puts a wrench in that. And it's really interesting when they go against each other. And like you said, like like Lynx has the upper hand as far as their head to heads, but you can't count out uh, Jim. Jim, right? You can't yeah. count, out, count out Jim and Project Lift Up. You just can't. So that's going to be an interesting. If they end up fighting each other, that's going to be an interesting. I don't actually. I'm not a hundred percent confident of who's going to win that. Boss has got this easy. Well, <laughs> if winning the entire event, I don't want to hear anything different. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but sorry, Tom. I love you. I love you, Tom. <laughs> But also, like, <laughs> Alex from UMD and Pine Victus, he's been working really hard, and not for nothing when you have mentors like Brandon Bennett Young and stuff like that. Like, we don't know what he's going to show up with, and so right. he could be a sleeper in the, that one for sure. So I apologize. I don't know what Pine Victus is. That's the only reason I left it out of that calculation. It you, is, uh, you've never seen, seen Pine Victus. It's a Drisk. Yeah, it's a Drisk. Okay, it's a Drisk. Okay. Uh, it is... The last time it was well in 2022, it looked very much so like a um, Peter like Bar. a Peter Bar but modified kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, like Ashley said, that could be a sleeper. He could win that yeah. whole entire thing. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, people have beat Links before, so <laughs> he could do it. Uh, it. If I was Tom, I would attach a light bar to pause and get, <laughs> if I fight Links and just. <laughs> I'm glad you brought up the light bar because I was going to go like, eh, maybe not. <laughs> just two. He just does the, the, the grumpy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> hey, just goes uh, pulls a Mr. Roper. He's yeah. he's teaming up with Mr. Roper, so you never know. Ooh, Anything Mr. is Roper possible. Put some light bars on. Positively hysterical is just a three-pound tiny lunchbox version of Mr. Roper. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> I think oh, the strategy cool. for pause is pause just needs to get like those um, 
like the the eyes from Puss in Boots from Shrek and just like stare at Lynx until Lynx just gives up. <laughs> that could work. That's a solid strategy. Yeah. Calvin's got to have a soft spot or something, right? Like save the cats. Like come on. Yeah. Save the cats. <laughs> I, I, I mean, could Calvin, in in good conscience, as a member of the Mad Catter team, destroy exactly. a cat? No. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, I'm sorry. It's not allowed. You have to play nice. See, Tom needs to put a positively hysterical in a tiny Mad Catter shirt. <laughs> <laughs> or if you if he just goes up to his controller and adjusts the end point so his weapon can only spin at like 10% power. I think okay, so, so now you're talking about <laughs> sabotage. No, I said no such thing. <laughs> I just said uh, adjusting. Oh, okay. <laughs> It makes it better. It gives him more bite. Yeah. See, see, uh, Christine, Tom is the dark underbelly of our podcast. <laughs> yeah. I would never make a suggestion that would be considered sabotage ever. Definitely. <laughs> okay, Mr. Airbag. Airbag. <laughs> it was a lifter. <laughs> it was a lifter that you could use once. It was yeah. a very good lifter that could be used once. <laughs> I would say that Zach would disagree with that. <laughs> we'll have to ask him oh i'm Not sure now. he's 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 made his his voice heard in that department <laughs> yep, respond in the comments down below <laughs> it's a piece of safety equipment <laughs> uh, well um we will go ahead and go on to group c and the three pounds which is eruption dutch oven tiny huge and franklin um now i i mean i personally have a very soft spot for flamethrowers and and flame bots as as people may know um i mean i it's funny because i had told ashley um for those that watch the the wpi takeover Brian Boxel specifically said that he wanted to fight Jane, Chainsaw Kitty. He didn't get Chainsaw Kitty, but Dutch Oven is, is in his group. So I love you, Brian, but good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, plenty of people have said, I'm just going to put foil on the bot, and that hasn't really worked out very well. So, I mean, I'm sure Brian is working very, very hard on a solution. Have we seen huge go against a flamethrower does his wheels melt i was just thinking what is tiny huge gonna do for wheels yeah. <laughs> i'm so wheels excited melt. that jonathan is bringing tiny huge back because we haven't seen it in a really long time and so Dude, like because i'm super pumped metal wheels for the huge as before i don't know if they were full like i know i've seen um cleat pieces for them right yeah. So it is possible he makes a very thin like spring steel or aluminum wheel for it. They're usually um UHMW, right? Yeah. 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 U UHMW melts. Melty. So <laughs> that is not a good solution. But again, someone that I'm sure is thinking very hard oh, about yeah. this matchup. The last quiet. time the last time Tiny Huge bought was January of twenty twenty. That's what I thought. Ooh, wow. It in a really long time i was i had a conversation with jonathan about like a few things and he like kind of hinted that tiny huge was coming back like this was like before teams and i was like no way like please bring it back like i love <laughs> tiny huge so i'm so excited <laughs> i am also very looking forward to seeing this robot fight again um does anyone know what franklin looks like it's a dual horizontal out of UCCR. So there's a little bit of Jake Hoffman mentorship on that Ooh. team. Um, so anything's possible. I know Jake's been working with those guys a little bit to like help make improvements and stuff. Um, but I do think it did okay the first time it came to, and it was just this year. So cool. Yeah, looking forward to that. That's cool. Who, okay, who's. That's a pretty competitive group. Uh, I personally, I mean, like, part of me wants to say it's Eruption coming out of there, just because Eruption is, like, has almost dumpstered, has dumpstered already this year. Yes. Uh, 
However, Tiny Huge hasn't fought since, 20, since 2020, and Tiny Huge can take down a Russian. Tiny Huge is specifically built to take down bots like that. And I could see Tiny Huge coming out of it. I kind of really want Tiny Huge to come back swinging from, from his long absence. That would be amazing. The one question that I have is, what fuel source does Dutch Oven use and where is it stored? Because that, that is the question that I have for a Tiny Huge fight. Where he can hit from oh, above. He can hit. Mm. I mean, it's right in the center, I believe, and it's a custom made enclosure. Okay. Yeah, that's as well fuel. I'm pretty sure it's butane. Not certain entirely. There's a lot of flamethrower robots that all blend together, but right. Well, just just talking about the angle that he can hit, the tiny huge can get to, um, and the opportunities that that opens for getting to a fuel source versus a bot that's more on the ground. So. I mean, it'll be very interesting to see how it goes because part of what makes the flame bots work is being able to in your opponent. However, if the wheels are big enough that they can climb over the opponent, it can be pretty hard to actually pin the opponent. Right. However, there is one exception to that, and that is Dutch Oven, because Dutch Oven has this. So this can hold Tiny Huge. But this might be killed by Tiny Huge's weapon. Could be chopped in half. So people let's are see be, what happens. People are going to be seeing this video, right? This is this is video? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because when we do our podcast and he does, he just does this, I have to be like, you have to describe to people what you're doing? Because <laughs> he's going <laughs> this, and then no one knows what you're doing. <laughs> well, don't you see? I actually put on, clo on actual clothes and pants instead of, I, I'm not wearing uh, my my sleep pants. Yeah. I'm wearing a Maximizer shirt. So hey, y'all are wearing pants? <laughs> I think the, the key with this group is going to be that they know it ahead of time so they have time to plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's like a yep. lot of times you go into our events, you don't know who you're going to fight. You might know your first fight, but that'll be about it. So, like, you have to kind of plan for the flame front, but you don't, like, know if you're going to fight one. These, those three bots know they're fighting a flame front. So, right. they're going to have a really good plan on how to deal with that when they walk in. And I think that's going to be important. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that yep. is very true. It'll be interesting to see how those teams plan for that. Um, and then going into group D of the three pounds, we have Beetlejuice, Chubby Unicorn, wow. Camino, and Honey Spark. Um, definitely a, a tough group there. Um, so I'm, I'm curious to hear what everyone thinks. I mean, you know, I, I'd say that for me, it's probably between Beetlejuice and Chubby Unicorn, but I'm curious to hear what everybody else thinks. Well, sh should, should Thomas sit this one out? Because, you know, he is the sponsor of Honey Spark. Like, she just sit this a one sponsor. out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Honey Spark is going to win. <laughs> Honey Spark is going to lock up the competition. My <laughs> client spared no expense <laughs> guaranteeing their victory. Uh, My I, team has something that begs to differ, but that's okay, Thomas. No it's worries. Okay. They're not going to win, so there's no Ooh. use arguing it. <laughs> Uh, I mean, my choice for this group has got to be Beetlejuice because I just love Ariel and I love Team Pandemonium, so that's just going to be my pick for this group, no matter what. Um, Chubby Unicorn is today. <laughs> what? Like, yeah, well, I mean, Team Pandemonium. When Ryan and I competed last, they took us in. They made us part of their team. They're always amazing. They're always welcoming. They do so well. They have so many amazing bots. I am a Team Pandemonium fan. I got to go with Ariel on this one. Sorry. I like Chubby Unicorn. I, I, I just love the bot. So it's like, I'm going to go with Chubby Unicorn out of this group. I, I mean, if I take all feeling away from it, if I take all feeling away from it, because I'm <laughs> Pandemonium stan, I love Pandemonium. And I also love like every single bot in this group. I mean, I love every bot here, but that's besides the point. Uh, I really have Chubby Unicorn just because Chubby Unicorn has a history of fighting Beetlejuice. It has a history of fighting Camino, I believe. And I believe it has beaten every bot in this. I think so. I'm pretty sure. 
Right. Uh, Chevy Unicorn hits hard and it kills bots. Uh, I love Chevy Unicorn. I think Chevy Unicorn has it too. But I want Beetlejuice to win. Personally. <laughs> <laughs> I know a Ashley and I have difficulty taking our personal feelings out of who we think is going to win. So. <laughs> oh, no, this is all entirely fact-based. But... Camino has not faced any of the opponents, which is what I thought. Um, so, But Aaron has been prepping extra hard. Pete and Chad have been helping. Um, Aaron actually flew out to Colorado and had a build weekend with Chad and Pete. So the hip replacements are sparing nothing they are in full prep mode and i'm excited to see this group it's my heart like hurts with this group because there's like so many people that i like deeply care about um but like a new robot coming out of honey crack so that will be exciting to see like stacks a really good builder and a really good machinist and so like he's been learning so much with everything that they've been doing and so it's it's a tough group yeah um yeah, I, I mean Honey Spark horizontal, we don't know what Honey Spark looks like yet, do we? I don't I mean, know if it's public. I believe okay. they're I twelve yeah. pound. Uh Zoe's posted a picture of it. The thirty pound is public, but right. the three has not been posted publicly yet. Okay, cool. Well, I'm excited to see what it looks like anyway. I'm excited to make sure that the hip replacements can actually walk down the stairs to the box. <laughs> wow. Back talk. <laughs> Christine, I, I have I'm gonna a, go steal uh, all your weapon locks. Bye. <laughs> I, I have a Badum Tiss sound sound that I put in for Thomas for these kinds of things. So <laughs> uh now the big the big question is though, we we've we've gone through all of the three pounds. Um everybody's final prediction for who wins uh, the whole three pounds. Pause. Um <laughs> I personally, like for me personally, just because I, for well for a few reasons, but I, I'm gonna have to go with my fellow Gemini, um, Kazaya and Chainsaw Kitty. Um, it's it's Kazaya's birthday weekend. I think you know she's gonna be fired up, so I'm I'm going Chainsaw Kitty. Tiny Great. huge, tiny yeah. huge, Hi. tiny huge. <laughs> okay, so 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 I have I have a three part for this uh the one I want to come out of this group chainsaw kitty the one that i think has the um highest as far as stats likelihood to come out is lynx and the one that i think is going to come from behind and actually probably take it is dutch oven so that's my three-part answer to the winners of the three or the winner of the three pounds are the all-star champ so yeah 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 uh, I I would I would love if we're talking about Gemini's then as an also fellow Gemini whose birthday is this weekend. Uh, yeah, I'm Chainsaw Kitty. Let's go. Let's go, Chainsaw Kitty. Let's do it. Yeah. No pressure from the rest of us Gemini's. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> no pressure. I, I gotta go with Links. You just can't count Calvin out. Like it's just like it's just, you can't do that anytime there's money on the line <laughs> in prestige. You got this, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go pause. Charm them to death. Uh, Charisma. Wore the wrong shirt today, apparently. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and move on to 12 pounds. Um, God, the first group is so difficult for me. Like, so freaking difficult. Um, you've got Psycho, Caldera 12, Nightcrawler, and Robocat. Yeah, this is going to be insane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, just Psycho and Caldera 12 being there. Just, I mean, Nightcrawler, just set Nightcrawler aside for a second because Nightcrawler is amazing. But just that Psycho and Caldera 12 in the same group thing is just. That's insane. I I want them to fight, and I want I think that would just be amazing to see. Yeah, the, the new wedge that um 
JMO is going to run on Psycho, I imagine, was literally built for Caldera 12. Like, <laughs> beautifully machined. Like, but obviously, my heart is with Nightcrawler. Like, I love you, P. I think that you have amazing robots. You've been doing this for so long. Like, all of that is, like, finally. And, like, he is always my dark horse. And so, like, I'm really hoping that, like, everything goes right and like Pete just blows everyone up. That's why I said Nightcrawler aside. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean Nightcrawler so Nightcrawler has been catch. fighting yeah Nightcrawler has been fighting with NHRL since 2021 uh, and I mean so has Psycho but I, I feel like Nightcrawler has a probably the biggest as the best in that air. It's so hard though. It's so hard. Fighting Psycho? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and Glenn just up upgraded to like a huge weapon motor on Caldera 12. So yeah. This yeah. group is literally intense. Has Jake been yeah. helping with Robocat as well? Um, I think maybe a little, I would imagine. I mean so I haven't heard too much about it since March, was it? I think yeah. yeah. I, I didn't have the best record on for March, but I mean they had quite a bit of time to work on that, get it all fixed up. So it could be an entirely new bot this event. And I also don't know who their matchups were. They may have just gotten slammed with some high tier robots right in the beginning. They fought, I have it up, uh they fought Enid's Revenge and won. They fought Blackjack and lost, and they fought Killer Whale and lost. <laughs> you, have, you have to not mention Robocat. Every time you do that, Robocat attacks the stream. <laughs> yeah. It's trying to fight before the event started. All right. So the next group, we have Maximizer, Blue Marlin, Huge, and Sweep. Um, so I think that could be a pretty interesting group having two verts in there with a horizontal and a lifter. Um, and I mean, that horizontal being maximizer, yeah. you, <laughs> you know, you, it, that's a tough bot to, to go against. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's, he's been seeing some, um, some bugs and, and he's been having, some issues with getting maximizer to uh up to his full potential but <clears throat> i mean jake doesn't quit and he's just going to keep on coming back and and hitting harder and harder so never count him out we never count jake out so yeah i'm interested to see what that looks like um and of course blue marlin won january right blue marlin is memory a Oh, oh yeah, it is. I don't know if Jake is yeah, looking forward Blue to Marlin... having to fight his friend Bob. Probably not looking forward to having to fight his friend Bob. <laughs> uh yeah, no, Blue Marlin got second. Second. Okay, yeah. but yeah, but it was it was in the, the final. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah it came I'm up remembering that correctly. and got second place and qualified. And then yeah. right. okay. the end. And then of course, huge. Like like it's huge like, uh, like... a past <laughs> champion like yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyone who want to talk about the Durbler brothers because like they're no joke either and oh no i'm so excited that we get events like this because we get those like high profile builders and those people that have been doing it for so long and like don and joe are just so like active in the community and active in the chats and like you forever see them and so like you know that like no matter what like they're not going away so like i always find the events that they get to come to are like super Super special because like you really like appreciate people like that and like I mean I just love that whole team so that's on me but like, <laughs> I am so excited to see them yeah uh, do but we know like Aaron Hill is building sweep so yeah okay that was I, I was I was gonna say Aaron Hill who's sweep <laughs> do we know what sweep looks like yet because it's a lifter from Aaron Hill right. so you know <laughs> I have not yet seen any photos of it either all he's posted of like two weeks ago was a gif of Patrick sweeping, and he said it's sweep now. <laughs> that is all we know. Okay, <laughs> it's a very Aaron Hill thing to do. Okay, um, it, my my thing here is Maximizer is really good at fighting things like Blue Marlin. 
Uh, I don't know what sweep is, but maximizer is a answer to a problem that huge is also an answer to a problem with where both of them are trying to solve the four wheel drive for problem. But how do they solve each other? Because is is maximizer too low for huge? Yeah, for huge. <laughs> and and is huge's wheels too tough for maximizer to get purchased? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that, I mean, that would be different length blades. So if it's too low, you just put something a little bit longer on. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's yeah. true. I I okay. Uh, I I hope he brings a helicopter blade to fight huge. That's what I want. That's what I want. <laughs> oh, Didn't he say so. that was retired? Yeah, it's, Didn't it's Jake tell us that that was retired? On his wall now. Yeah. It also Jake... destroyed his motor, so I don't know if he wants to put it back on. No. <laughs> So, Christine, you weren't in the pits during that event. Uh, that I rem- no, you weren't there. Uh, the huge helicopter blade stayed above us in the pits the whole entire time. It was sitting at the pit desk the whole entire time as like a threat to all the other competitors. It just sat there, beautiful, and hung out on the walls. It was great. That that seems like it would be very threatening for sure. Yes. Yes. It could take out 40 beetles at once. <laughs> I I would like so, to see that. <laughs> Quite chaotic. <laughs> so I'm going through uh, Maximizer's fight history right now and all of its opponents, and I don't see huge on it. So, I, I mean, it could be wrong. The, the wiki could be wrong. That they haven't fought before. I don't remember them fighting before. I know Jake was very nervous about fighting Mind Flayer yep. because of the overheadness. But I don't think he's fought huge before. So that'll be very interesting. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure after fighting Mind Flayer, he has a better plan now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, and again, Blue Marlin, runner up, second place. So Blue Marlin's yeah. Blue Marlin's badass robot. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what's gonna happen with this group. Yeah. Destruction. <laughs> exactly. <Lots>. Exactly. <laughs> um they're all coming with multiple bots. I can almost guarantee it. Everybody's gonna have a ton of spare parts. I, I mean you would they're hope so. All looking for maximum destruction here. Yeah, you you would hope so. When you're getting invited to an event like this, and you know you're you're, you would hope that that would be the level of competition that would be happening. I heard that one of the teams is actually bringing seventeen grugs. <laughs> could 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 be could be. Um, well, <laughs> we, we will we will jump into the third group of the twelve pounds. Um, which like again, these like every group is just insane. Um, so that group is Jupacabra, Battle Tots, Bobby, and Milk Tank, who whose weapon is Spunk. Just in case anybody was was interested. Very spunky. Yeah. Well, I I mean I would assume Milk Tank's weapon has been the same the past couple of times that we've seen it. It's been that drum correct so i would assume that they probably stick with that and just that's make upgrades tank. oh that's vodka tank milk, milk tank is the horizontal oh i confused okay yeah okay so yeah who knows but um they've been making so many improvements and each like one they've gotten better and better and stronger and not for nothing vodka tank went three minutes with like jmo right mm-hmm. Like anything is possible, and I know Tamara's been working really hard on it, and I can only imagine. And like lunch is really starting to be a good driver, and like like really dial in and like make collectively like smart like moves and decisions instead of just being like me and driving all over the place when I don't actually know what's going on. <laughs> I'm just interested to see what the spunk weapon is and if they changed it entirely because you never know; they could have just done a major configuration change. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, we've got to talk about Bobby in this group. I, I mean, it's 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 Bobby. Like, we love Bobby. <laughs> Bobby's hat. I, I, Bobby. I, I love the Brazilians. I love Pandemonium. But my pick for this group is Bobby. 
I, I I don't know. It's just that 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 classic bot that everyone loves. It, it's just I don't know. Bobby's my uh, pick for this. That that was my secondary shirt pick. Was actually my Bobby shirt. I love my <laughs> pink Bobby shirt. Nice. Uh, yeah. All all I wear is battle is combat robot shirts. That's all I wear. <laughs> um, battle tots. Though, I mean, like Team Pandemonium yeah. has been building and rebuilding and fighting these robots over and over again. Uh, I believe there is now a third Battle Tot 2. Uh, so they have to get another configuration because that's part of the point is that you can go, okay, let's fight the, these two robots as the opponent uh, to outmaneuver. Right. Their opponent, basically. Which bot is the third um, one? I wish they had it at March. I don't know if they ran it or not. I don't think so, because the only ones <laughs> I saw at March was Bite Force. I mean, it's not called Bite Force, but Bite Force and... Same Force. Same, same Force, sorry. Uh, and the Frog, which I always forget. Uh, STF's... Um, what the Frog's name is. Uh, robot. Uh, the Robot clone. Uh, those <laughs> are the only two I saw. So if they had a third, I don't think they ran it. I think the same two all the time when they came up. Yeah. I don't know, Ashley. I thought that I thought that they ran Uppy. I'm trying to remember if they ran it or not, but I know that Corey was had it ready for the last event. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. It was ready. But yes, there is technically a third battle tie. I just don't know how that plays into um Corey being in the 30 pound group with that team so i don't know if maybe they're just running the two or not but i guess we'll, we'll find out I Wh mean, which which bot does the third one clone or uppercut uppercut oh okay okay makes sense that would be a cory bot okay. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> yeah that's kind of cory's specialty yeah <laughs> <laughs> get to the 30s <laughs> Uh, yeah, but battle. Yeah, I can't count on battle tots. Battle tots. I was is awesome. say, my pick was battle tots. That's like I really think. Yeah, it's it, it, that that multi bot configuration is really going to cause trouble with a lot of them. Uh, I'll stick with Bobby though. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, I think either of those is is definitely a good pick. Um. And I mean, I, I'm always low key team Brazil, so. <laughs> Gotta yeah. gotta love Chupacabra. Um now looking at group D, um, we have Timber Viper, Bumble Blitz, Grim Ripper 12, and Yob Ganol. Uh, Timber Viper is Timber Viper is is oh Timber Viper is great. It's so it's really awesome. <laughs> uh, I, I I would take it over it pretty much any any of the bots in that group. Uh, it is the true like using speed as your weapon. Uh, the way that it it's so good. I yeah. just hope he doesn't put it, doesn't decide to attack flow again. That would make me. <laughs> we need the house bots for this event, Kevin. Yes. Okay? Yes. Yes. Please keep us. Yeah. Having house spots just for this one. I mean, yeah, Timber Viper can flip a house spot, and Long Boy <laughs> has been running for years and has destroyed many, many bots. And Grim Ripper, they're going to turn everyone into skeletons. But, but someone's going to get loimed. Like, and then after everyone's going to get loimed. Someone else oh is going to get loimed. <laughs> after that, of work a third that person is going to get loimed. The amount of work that Liam is putting into Bumble Blitz is absolutely incredible. The fact that Honeycracks has that cage, like Liam is getting so much drive time. He is coming up with different forks, different configurations, like different speeds and like all of the driving and all of the practicing, like somebody's going to get loimed. Yeah. Somebody. Up. I mean, he's going to, he's going to need that driving expertise if he wants to go against Kevin though. Like if if it's a Bumble Blitz versus Timber Viper, like he's gonna need that special speciality. He's gonna need that speed to try and get Timber Viper pinned. No, I don't even go as that, far as that's to a say bot. that I think the Group D drivers 
should all go back to the Motorama stream of this past year and just watch all of Bumble Blitz's fights because it was just loiming after loiming after loiming. If you have an exposed hole with a switch in it, loined. If you have a belt, loined. If you have a battery, loined. Wire, loined. Motor, loined. Everything is just going to get loined. No. Now, now I'm unfamiliar with this term. Where does this term come from? Uh, the driver's name is Liam. Yeah. And I don't know how it started, but it's just a, a silly pronunciation oh, of Liam. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, I mean, Chris Rummel is rebuilding Yab Null. And so that's a championship bot. It's one yeah. dumpster. Like... <laughs> Grim Ripper has had an incredible showing, like in their last couple of events. Like, I'm I think the 12 pound class is the most stacked class that we have. Mm, honestly, I can see honestly, that. Group D, I think, is the most balanced <laughs> as far as the most difficult to say who's gonna win. Yeah, yeah. It, it's gonna be the most interesting fights, I think, uh, as far as like the back and forth and and one has the upper hand and the other has the upper hand. Um, I think we're going to see a lot more out of this group than we are the other three. Mm -hmm. It's also the only class that has, an, in each weapon is different. So like, there's two verts in A, two verts in B. There's two horizontals in C, assuming that Milk Tank is running a horizontal. So also got the right. most variety. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I, we're, we're definitely going to have some things to discuss in a minute once we get into 30 pounds, because I definitely mm -hmm. have some feelings about, about that um, and how stacked that is. But before we jump into that, for 12 pounds, I'm curious to hear who everybody thinks is their favorite to take it. Um, this, is, this is definitely a, another group where I think my head and my heart are aligned in my in my pick. And I mean, I can't just by a hair, just by a smidge, I have to go with Psycho um, to, to take it all in 12 pounds. I have to. Yep. I'm on the same page as you, Christine. Same page. I, I can't I can't go against JMO. He's he's just one of the goats, and I, I just I can't I can't vote against him. I think Psycho's gonna take it. I, I'm a huge fan. I'm, I'm I'm like that's the bot for me in the 12 pounds. I think. You, you just you can't deal with the height. It's very difficult You're to deal with that. You're a huge fan of who? Of huge. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, okay, Jake. Listen to me, Jake. All right, <laughs> all right, Jake. You're gonna take down huge. That's your main thing. Okay, you're gonna take down huge. You get out of your group. You're good. You're built to take out Psycho. You know how to kill Psycho. You could take out everybody here. Come on, Jake. Let's do it, Jake. Come on. Jake, it's I, I just, time to lock in. Oh, yeah. God. Eight weeks over. It's time to lock Eight in. Eight weeks over. It's time to lock in. Right. So let's get into the 30 pounds. And personally for me, this the whole entire group is like is the biggest toss-up. There's just so many heavy hitters that I, I don't know that I could even pick one in the overall 30 pound division, but we'll get into the first group, you know, before going on further. So the first group is emulsifier, huge goose and floor letter word discuss. <laughs> I, I just, I just love the Good big luck. Brutus robotics. Big Brutus Robotics is just like, we're just going to bring three mm -hmm. versions of the same bot. <laughs> just see what happens. Brings me fun. Oh, hey, I love it. And that's the thing that works. <laughs> uh, I mean, from this group, I have to take Emulsifier. It's like, it's the champ. How can you not pick Emulsifier from this group? I, yeah. I love, I love Pretty Huge. I love Floor Litter Word. I don't know Goose. Sorry. Um, but emulsifier is the champ. I I, I just gotta go with emulsifier. I feel like it's hard to bet against emulsifier in this group for sure. But team huge all day. Let's go. <laughs> I think one of those ones is like it's going to be a matter of how they can repair after. Because I think this is one of those groups that's going to cause a lot of damage to themselves, and like it could hamper them going forward whoever wins this group. 
Yeah, even Alex from Four Letter Word was like, if I get like my butt handed to me at teams, like I'll just drop from June twenty second. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally fair. Like that's a quick turnaround time if you completely lose a robot. <laughs> like, yeah, definitely makes sense. That's it's just a crazy first group. I mean, Four Letter Word when it used to be. It's old convert. Well, it used to be its old version. Uh, what it is kitty, the kitty litter, the litter box, right? Litter box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it has been biting for that long. It has fought huge many times in itself, uh, and it has fought emulsifiers several times. I, I mean, like it's a emulsifier. It's a emulsifier. Emulsifier has fought huge before. It's fought everything like that before. It, emulsifier is just dialed in and i'm very excited to see it fight uh and i mean like huge has a good huge has a good fight against emulsifier though i mean like it really depends on heights again is is emulsifier like high enough to really get into huge it might just be it's pretty tall high up there yeah 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 i'm excited for that fight that's gonna be a good fight yeah, and again, it goes back to what we're saying about in the other group. Like, they can prepare for these fights. Like, yep. they know who they're going to fight. So, like, a multiplier and huge can plan for how they're going to deal with these fights. I, yeah. I'm just so excited to see every single fight. This is going to be <laughs> such a this is going to be such a good event. I kind of like we're going to be distracted sitting in the pits going like, I just want to watch what's going on downstairs. Can we just move the pit desk down to the VIP suite downstairs? You know, just move like it down Like your old chair where you sit. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> just move it down there. You can watch the fights while dealing with the yeah. other stuff. We'll, we'll yeah. talk to Jimmy about that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and quick shout out to Jimmy. Jimmy, we love you. Without you, these events wouldn't happen. So, just wanted to throw that out there. We love you, Jimmy. <laughs> love the love for Jimmy. Absolutely. And just, just to clarify, we're talking about tournament director Jimmy and not yes. my boyfriend Jimmy. That, oh, that gets I mean, I love something. him too. Jimmy Gibson. That's Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when Ashley talks, she says Jimmy, then he's like, what? What? <laughs> I know. I realize I have to clarify more often than I don't, than I do currently. <laughs> Um, so then going into group B, we've got Vorion, we've got Peppy, who, who we have a lot of love for, I'm sure Ashley has a lot of love for, for Peppy, um, Smack-O-Lantern, and Crack? Huh? I'll never vote against Vorion. As <laughs> much as I love Peppy, yeah. I will never, ever ever in my life go against Brandon Bennett Young. I love him too much. Yep. If you ever cross Brandon Bennett Young, you will be dismembered by his robots in the middle of the night. <laughs> though, though, I have to say, Pepe Sylvia does have a special place in my heart, not just because of the builder or the bot, but also because it's named after one of my favorite shows of all time. So <laughs> I thought you were going to say your favorite pizza place of all time. <laughs> no. Not getting it well well, see, the, the thing with Pepe Sylvia is the first time we saw it, it was like, this is kind of cool. It's There's a little bit of gimmicky feel to it. There's a little bit of like, a, oh, it's just like a cool kind of thing. And then it went to it went to Motorama. It absolutely wrecked at Motorama. And it was like, oh, no, Pepe, Pepe Sylvia is like insane. That thing's crazy. Um Every time you say the name, I hear Charlie's voice in my head. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a that's a hard group. Let's be real, but like, I I have Pepe. Pepe is awesome. I just yeah, want to hear it skirt across the plywood again. It it's just makes us like sound as it goes across. A great sound. It's a toss up between Vorion and Pepe Sylvia in this group. No, mm -hmm. no hate against Mac o Lantern or Crack, um, but it, it's a toss up between Vorion and Pepe Sylvia. I can't pick between the two. Um, I love both bots. I love both drivers. So Pepe is one of those robots you can identify from across the room just by the sound it makes. It's like yeah. Project Liftoff. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
See, like, oh, I, that bot's fighting. I don't see it, but I know. I know. I know. Uh, we've, Christine, we've been playing, I've been creating games to play on our on our podcast, and I was considering one of the games to be, um, I would play sound clips and see if people could actually, like, understand what it was or be able to pick what the, the robot is. And I'm like, no, it would, that would be the worst audio in the whole world is just like, <laughs> oh, it's a spin-off. <laughs> just the I would hate spin-off. you. I would hate you so much because you, you would play the clip and I would have to turn around and go in and, and into Audacity and just, like, mess with that clip so much to get the audio correct. I think you we could just it. turn it into, like, an ASMR thing, just, you know, <laughs> like... Well... <laughs> I was I was picturing um, that one scene in Gone from Gone in sixty seconds when they're playing the they they play the, the engine sound oh, yeah. Yeah. and he goes and he tells them exactly what the car is and everything like that. I'm like, could somebody do that, but with combat robotics? That's that's the thing. If you spend yeah. enough time in the pits, you absolutely can. Like I'll sit behind the desk and hear someone in the test cage and like not even have to look and I just know who's there and I'm like oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. So so we'll 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 take this off the air, but I I do have a, a an idea for another game. I'll, I'll message you about it. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go to Group C. Um, group C is Colossal Avian, Knock Off White, Synthesis Thirty. And B force. B force. What what is B force? Do we know what B force is? Zoe is posted. Her. Yes. She's, yeah. Well, she's posted one half. So it's a it's a thirty pound multi bot, um, dual vert, uh, treaded, and they're pretty Ooh. cool. So I'm excited to see a true multi bot in the thirties. I think it'll be really interesting, but um, Corey Nason is no slouch, and his weapon is much larger now. And Corey just scares me, so I'm I'm hoping that Synthesis Thirty comes out on top of this group. Yeah, I, I, in this group, I'm sorry for all the other bots in this group, but Corey is one of my mentors and one of my best bot friends, and I I, I can't. It's Synthesis Thirty all day, every day. Okay, but I, I also would love since the story the win, but I really, really, really want to watch Colossal Colossal Indian fight knockoff white because it's just gonna be a whole lot of this I, I going on in the cage. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Hammersaw versus Hammersaw. Knockoff is just the hammer. Just the hammer, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, but it's the most powerful hammer. Yeah. Because it's an actual like full size two fifty hammer on that bot, and then it's fighting Colossal Avian, which is just I, I that's gonna be a fun <laughs> that's gonna be a fun match. Legend and, has it that knockoff white was actually used to mine coal back in the sixties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> it's like an upscaled energizer. So it's a bit more weight. There's two of them. It's got the tracks. It's got the death hub motor that's going to murder everything in its path. Just have to not die to the giant hammer and the giant hammer saw and the provider, Corey himself. So it's going to be rough. Okay. Let's play this out a little bit, though. (laughs) Uh, Synthesis, Corey has fought with the smaller synthesis multi bots before, and he is one of the best anti multi-bot fighters that we have, the builders that we have. Uh, however, Knockoff White and Colossal Avian are not that great at fighting multi-bots, especially Knockoff White. Knockoff White has, like, no mobility. The The mobility is, like, because it's the shuffle drive, but it's, like, yeah. the huge shuffle drive. So it's like, it's, like, trying to move itself on, like, it's like if you were trying to walk, but you had, like, pieces of plywood in each hand and you just went like this a lot. That's how it walks. Uh so that against a multi-bot, probably not a good idea. I could see B Force uh, chewing it from both sides. I mean I heard Adam Wrigley was pretty excited he didn't have to fight a multiplier and then he saw his group. <laughs> <laughs>
Now, yeah, that as makes far sense. as fighting Corey, all Zoe has to do is just say, Corey, if you damage my bot, I'm going to cry. <laughs> and Corey's going to feel bad for Zoe? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know about that because Corey, like Corey, knows I'm kind of a sensitive person, and he just sends and actively me... threatens all of her robots. Yeah, he actively <laughs> makes threats against apples daily. So I, well, I don't think he's he cares. Probably allergic to apples. I think. <laughs> That's oh, totally definitely. Made up. Yeah. He's not allergic to bees. <laughs> Probably. Corey literally just wants to fight everyone. It's fine. He yeah. loves fighting. And he loves breaking <laughs> everyone's robots. Yep. And He's he loves sending scarier and scarier pictures of his robots to intimidate people. <laughs> if you close your eyes, you can't see the threats. That's that's true. That's true. I can only <laughs> listen one. to the videos that he sends and hear the weapon that oh, I, can, no. I can do that too. <laughs> um... So going into the final group um, in the 30 pounds, we have a, a, a kind of a, a somewhat sad situation because um, we have Yahoo first and then we have Jubilu who is actually taking the place of the other Brazilian robot because, you know, th there was a, a drop and so Jubilu is going to be in there. Um, and then we have Barbie and Ken and Mr. Roper, whose weapon is Moxie. <laughs> yeah. it might, might be an arena fouling issue uh, if he decides to put cans of Moxie on his robot. Oh, I, I kind of hope just a little bit. I hope he does. A little bit. Not, not with the Moxie still in it, but, you know, just like <laughs> cans of Moxie just sitting on the top. That would be awesome. Bottle. I'll have to bring a bottle. Yeah. Use as a prop. Yeah. Uh, but I always love Yahoo. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, most kids don't even know what it means anymore. It's like, <laughs> um, I mean, we we know that Brian had a lot of issues inside and outside of the cage with Barbie and Ken. Um, I we know that he's most definitely worked on it and made these bots work even better. So I can't wait to see those fight. Um, and again love the brazilians can't wait to see them but i gotta go with yahoo on this one yeah um, cool, right? of course for, for, for my pure love vote it's mr roper but for to win and is yahoo yeah. sorry mark you know we love you so much and i love your butt <laughs> but to win this group i gotta go with yahoo if you're not paying attention on attention on social media, go follow Eel Monkey and go follow Chad because they are literally spamming each other back and forth with hilarious stories of weapons and building and it's absolutely <laughs> epic to watch. So if you Is haven't this the pre fight? That, yeah. It's like Mark posted an Instagram story last night that was like, I'm coming for you, Chad. And Chad <laughs> like literally posted a story back that was like a side picture of his brand new drum and was like I dedicate this song to you and it was like um come fly away or something <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it's pretty epic this is like such a fun group i mean barbie and ken are just mm -hmm. beautiful robots too so like i'm excited to see how much brian and james have changed it um jubilee we have seen before it's a pretty big horizontal taking the chase place of ciabatta um but i'm wearing a Fazio shirt and I'm obviously magnitude and Chad all day long. So like um he's coming out of this entire division on top and I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I mean, as a certified Mr. Roper pilot myself, I'm gonna have to go with Mr. <laughs> Roper on this group. Let's check. I just, if Mr. Roper does end up going flying through the air, at least he's going to be super angry about it and let everyone know. <laughs> I, I, I just want to know. I, win. I just want to know who's piloting it this time. What personality is going to come out of Mark this time? I'm very interested. Yeah, yeah I wonder same. if Tony Clifton is coming back. I have his business yeah. card. I should have had him sign it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, you have to, he, he charges for signatures. 
That checks. Five hundred dollars each. No wonder I didn't get his signature. Yeah, no, not only each signature, each character. It's just Monopoly money. Just bring the Monopoly see, money. You'll be all good. See, when I think about Mister Roper flying through the air with his arms going like this, all I can think of is the penguin that you throw off the edge of the cliff in Mario sixty four. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. I can't believe you threw the penguin off the cliff. <laughs> oh, everyone throws the penguin off the cliff, Thomas. Everyone I would, does it. I would never. Oh, don't even. Everyone <laughs> does it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, 30 pounds is 30 pounds is gonna be tough. I mean, I can pick a favorite out of each group, but of those four robots, I really don't know like I just don't know who's going to come out on top um because they're so good um I mean like emulsifier Vorion, synthesis 30 and yahoo are probably my four favorites but I just don't know how that's going to shake out at the end yeah it, it, it's going to be a fun night that's we're gonna we're in for a treat the I'll entire day treat. is just going to be intense. So I just realized that all three of my picks to win the entire day are the top row of our sheet, yeah. in each in group A of each of their weight class. Because <laughs> I got Chancellor Kitty, Psycho, and Emulsum. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you didn't dig very deep there, Justin, did you? You stayed right at the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. First one we talked about in each group. I mean, what'll be really interesting to see, just generally speaking, is that is, you know, called the dream team. It's, you know, some of the best of the best. Will they yep. sweep all of the weight classes? I mean, that's that's really a good question to ask. That would be insane. I, I find it very interesting. Emulsifier and knockoff white are two completely different teams this time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. There's... I'm sure they're going to be swapping back and forth and everything like that the whole day. But I mean, that's Bots FC is also emulsifier, but Michael Play and emulsifier are different. That's. I yeah. really want to see emulsifier versus knockoff Play. Mm -hmm. I think I want to see that. Kind of do. <laughs> Deep down, we do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would be interesting if that happens, um, you know, like, I'm sure it's it's tough for any team when it's like an inter-team type of situation and you're fighting your own team, but it's like both fun and uh, difficult at the same time. Yeah, it's kind of cool that they spread everybody out and like none of the teams are in the same groups and everybody's kind of all over the place. So like everybody really is going to fight everybody else and like, coming out of just like the preliminaries like the bracket is gonna just be mind blowing <laughs> yes yep. uh, I, I, day looks like when we get to that point i think i uh, i mean in every single one of these groups every fight looks like a banger uh some some look like absolute like uh we have we, when we're at the pit desk we have certain fights that even when it's busy, even when we have our, like, when we're, like, hitting times and everything like that, there are certain fights that will stop us just to watch. And We're not going to be able to do that, Ryan. I, I, I understand. I understand. I want to watch them all. I, I would watch. I want to watch every single one of these. I, I'm so excited for this event. Yep. Um, I mean, if, if people aren't watching, I don't know what they're doing. I'm going to be at a whole separate competition and I'm going to be watching. <laughs> um, I'm so sad that it's happening the same day so that I can't like give my full attention the entire time. But um, I will definitely be watching and probably re-watching it at home um, like at a later time just to make sure I didn't didn't miss anything. So um, I, I mean. I'm about to ask Jimmy to just set up an 80 inch that's just attached to the fence behind us. Just so, you know, we, we can just be like, okay, yeah, checked in, cool. And then just go back to yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Why haven't you hit the times? Well, 
fights. Because <laughs> the fights are too good. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we why are we an hour behind? Emulsifier versus huge. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, there's there's I mean, stuff happening. We love you. We're gonna keep everything on time, I promise. Oh yeah. Please don't <laughs> listen to this and think that we're gonna not take our job seriously, Jimmy. <laughs> uh well, I am very, very much looking forward to this. Um oh. I, I I'm excited to see how this event goes because I think it's a great precursor to doing this type of thing again in the future. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be super interested to see how it goes. I'm excited to see the jerseys. I'm excited to give NHRL all of my money and buy all of the jerseys. <laughs> um, and just, you know, see, see all of it. Um, I think this is going to be like really just an amazing event and I'm so excited. Um, so, and I'm sure that you all are as well. Yeah, I didn't know that I could get such a cool birthday present. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I just need to make a quick correction on the Big Brute Robotics robot names. Uh, so just forget the names you heard. It's actually Fun Size, King Size, and Super Size. Those are the three 12 and 30 pound robots. Okay, my my question before before we finish up. Everybody can only pick one jersey. What jersey are you picking? I already oh, know. <laughs> That's the Actually, answer. you don't. You don't count. You're getting a. You're getting a free jersey. You can't pick the free jersey. Okay. You're getting your jersey for your team. <laughs> wait, wait. Aside from your own team, Ashley. Team yeah. Better Grumble Monkey. It's got to be the funnest flipping jersey out there, really. <laughs> yeah, Reasonable uh, FC. Yeah. Yep. That's the jersey because I because Chris posted some preview photos and it was like blue and pink and Hawaiian and I already have a shadow jersey so it would go it would go in the I'd would probably go, go with hip replacements because it's hilarious it's really funny and I'm <laughs> glad that I don't have to pick it because I'm it is my own and so it's just it's it's funny it's the, the theme is just perfect for it I I definitely want a pandemonium jersey that's the one I'm choosing. Uh, I want the Pepe Kitty Miser jersey because it is like a, almost like a metal show jersey and I love it and I will wear it. I, I'm going to probably buy like a Dream Team one, We're Pandemonium a one. Concert. Yeah, and a Pepe Kitty Miser one. <laughs> You're going to wear the Maximizer to like a metal concert and someone's going to be like, yo, what band is that? <laughs> I, I really, I haven't been able to go to any concerts yet this year, but I will wear it if I go to a concert this year. But yeah, they're, they're really underground. <laughs> in Mosh hard. You, you, you should just wear it to the, the Randy, Randy Feltface show. When we yeah. Go in September. Yeah. That's... There you go. <laughs> I definitely will need. Uh, this, month, this Saturday. <laughs> I'm going to need a pandemonium jersey and I'm definitely going to need a too hot to handle jersey because I like fire <laughs> and I'm also a fan of the show, which it is my understanding that that uh, team name came from the show as well. So <laughs> those were, I, I mean, all of the jerseys are so cool. It's like so awesome that NHRL is like investing back in all of the builders that are coming for this event and providing that to them and like they're going to be fully customized with names and numbers and like sponsors and like other things and like it's it's such a special feeling and like I can only imagine like I feel so lucky that like we get to go and be there in person and like work the event and like we've made like best friends with like some of these like really incredible builders and like I can only imagine like how it feels to be a builder and be accepted into an event like this and like just know like that NHRL is like standing behind you and they really support like all of the hard work and they're recognizing it and so like I just think it's just special like all aspects of it and like we're super freaking lucky that we get these cool opportunities yeah yeah absolutely um well all I can say is if this happens again next year anybody that has food box get at me get get at me with the food box <laughs> <laughs> um in yeah. grocery store <laughs> love that well hey we have we have harvester 
We could totally make like a farm theme. Oh, yeah. I do like cows. <laughs> I, I like a the theme team. Like French toast, bacon and eggs, you know. Um, we'll turn over. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so well, looking forward to it. Um, excited about the event and excited to have had this opportunity to do this collab. Um, you know, it's it's fun to I mean, I love talking to anybody about robots, but um, I think other other fellow podcasters who are as crazy talking about this stuff as I am, I think it's, it's especially fun. Um, so thank you to all of you for joining me on this episode. And um, for those who are watching, please make sure that you like, subscribe, follow all of that good stuff to both Outside of the Box and Havoc Rundown. Um, follow both <laughs> shows. I don't think there's enough combat robotics content in the world. So please consume all of the content that we have for you um, and enjoy. And we'll see everybody next time on the show. If you do not like and subscribe, you will be like. cursed with a thousand years of sniped belts and <laughs> cogged motors. Exactly. And Ashley wants to win a an ant weight kit. So let's, yes, let's so make get us to a thousand true. subscribers. <laughs> We're so close. <laughs> I need to win that kit. <laughs> Subscribing right now. <laughs> on all of my yes, 174 to go. <laughs> uh, we'll see everybody next time.